I was working on one message. And in the midst of completing the message, I'm going to cut off my computer and come out of the office. God said, that's not the message. I had to turn around and go back. Now what, Lord? So the Lord took me. He gave me this subject. What are you holding back? from God. My, my, my. What are you holding back from God? And the scripture, the chapter that I'll be talking about today is my main scripture is Acts 5 verse 1 through 7. Remember, what are you is a personal thing. Holding back from God. Wow. Mm -hmm. and, and, and to sum up the chapter of these seven verses, it says a certain man named Ananias was sapphire, his wife, yeah. sold a possession, but they kept back part of the money. I don't see that. His wife also being a partaker in it. And a, they brought a percentage of it and laid it at the apostles' feet. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but Peter said unto Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land? Why? See, a couple of things that I want you to grasp that's so important for this. Number one is that Peter is talking directly to Ananias. And he said, in other words, were you forced to sell your property? The answer was no. As long as you had it, was it is yours? The answer was yes, it was. After you sold it, no one required you to bring the money to the church. Why? Amen. See, somebody needs to just say, why? 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 I'm not going to talk about money. You see, so many times we make promises to God. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we know we're not going to keep them. And we tell the Lord, Lord, if you give me that house on the hill, I'll serve you. But when we attain the house, we forget about God. Come on, come on. We tell the Lord, Lord, I'm walking now, but Lord, if you give me a vehicle, everybody I know that want to go to church, I'll take them out. But when you get that vehicle, you got certain folks you want to. But you made a promise. Nobody asked you to tell God that. You said, Lord, if you give me Diva or Billy Bob with the biceps, my whole family. I'll serve you. We need to quote the scripture. For me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. That's it. That's but as it. soon as you get bit involved with the biceps, what you say? My and deal with the Jesus. I'll ask you. Jesus. You soon forget about your promise to God. Jesus. Jesus. Mm. Glory to God. Jesus. Mm -hmm. My Lord. But to go. 
God. Somebody say unto God. Unto God. See, we promise God all of this stuff that we gonna do if He do. We say, God, if you do, I'll do. So, but then God knows all along that we're not gonna do. But God still does for us to prove a point to us. Amen. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Jesus. And Ananias hearing these words. He said, why did you lie to the Holy Ghost? Ananias hearing these words from Peter. The Bible said he fell dead. Yeah. He gave up the ghost. And a great fear came upon everyone that there to see the move of God. And the Bible goes on to say, and the young men arose and bound him and carried him out to be buried. Are you listening to me? Amen. Now, what is so interesting, they took Ananias out and they buried him. Something strange about that. Seem like when some of your folks die, Jesus. They ought to be tell your next kinfolk has died. Uh -huh. yeah. But nowhere in the Bible did it say they notified Ananias' wife, Sapphira, and told her he was dead. I know. They didn't allow her to pick out the plot for him to be buried in. They just buried him. Jesus. Why lie? To the Holy Ghost. Yes. And the Bible goes on to say that about three hours after this, after Ananias was buried, the Bible said when his wife, not knowing what was done, came to Peter and, and Peter asked her. He gave her opportunity. See, God give us an opportunity to get it right. Yes, Lord. God give us an opportunity to fulfill the promise that we made him. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. And Peter asked her, tell me whether you sold the land for so much. And she said, yes. That's how much I sold the land for. And Peter said unto her, Now is it that you have agreed together to tempt the Spirit of God? You had an opportunity to fulfill that promise that you promised God. I remember when I was at the altar tarry, back then we tarried. We didn't have the quick fix. When I was tarrying for the Holy Ghost, and I had tarried almost a week. Jesus. And I was, and, and I was sincere. I thought I was. And I said, oh Lord, if you just feel me. And before I begin to say what I was going to say, the mother said, don't say it. Don't promise God something. Because he's going to hold you to the very thing. Yes, Lord. See, that's what's going on. We made God so many promises. Yes, yes, and we're holding back from God. Jesus. We want everything that the world holds. Jesus. But what are you giving God? And we begin to say the word of God. See, see, the mothers were saving me some hardship. Uh -huh. Are you listening to me? Amen. Are you listening real good to me? And it says then, behold, and, and, and Peter said unto her, how is it that you have agreed to tempt the spirit of God? And all of a sudden it says, behold, the feet of them which had buried your husband are at the door. And they will carry you out. And then she fell down immediately to her feet and she was dead. Jesus. See, I want you to understand that the sin of Ananias and his wife were that are hypocrites. They pretend 
of being something you aren't. That's it. That's it. Being something that you aren't. But if you look around, can't you see that happening yes. in the world? Yes. In the church yes. amongst the Christians. Yes. Being something that you are not. It wasn't about holding back the money. The situation was about holding back from God. See, somebody said just a dare, but do. No, I disagree. I want all that God has for me. All of it. See, I want to let you know the real sin of uh, Ananias and Sapphira, not holding back part of the prize that they sold their possessions for because it was theirs. This is revealed, it is brought to light in Peter's question. Did it belong to you before you sold it? And it was sold. Wasn't that your money anyway? So why did you lie to the Holy Ghost? See, in reality, if you begin to think about it, they was doing a very generous thing by selling their possession and being a blessing to the church. <laughs> but you can't sell fish sandwiches on the corner Jesus. and keep half of the money Amen. and Amen. tell the church that's all you made. Amen. That's it. Because you didn't have to sell the fish sandwich. That's it. And you didn't have to make the church a promise. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Nah, I'm talking to somebody. Yes, Lord. See, it's bad to hold back from God. The whole problem, they were implying that they was giving all, when in reality they was holding back part of the money. Holding back part of the money was not bad. It was the fact that they was trying to make everyone think that they was giving everything. See, we can all easy fool people because we say, I'm so Whatever God say, I, I say yes, Lord. Whatever he want me to do, I say here I am. And all along, we know we are lying to the Holy Ghost. Because when the Lord tells us to pray this at midnight hour, we refuse to roll out that baby. of God leadership spiritual discernment. Amen. Yes, Lord. I hear what you say, but I see what you do. Jesus. See, our word hypocrite Jesus. comes from the Greek word who creates, which is the word for actor. We have so many actors and actors in the church. so many actors and actresses yes, in the church. You ought to make a movie. Oh, Jesus. What you say? 
Because see, what we do, we perform. Ooh, yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Mm -hmm. We perform. They are acting like they are fully committed and they just love the Lord. But on Saturday night, the phrase says they're dropping it like it hot at the pool. They're lying and cussing, and in, in a few minutes, if a son of God comes, they flip the switch and begin to prophesy. Oh, Real actors. Real actors. But God is calling for real people. James 3.10 say, out of the mouth, out of the same mouth proceeded blessings and curses. Yes. My brother, these things ought not to be. Matthew 7.22 says, Many will say unto me in that day. What day? The last day. Lord, Lord, we not prophesied in thy name. Amen. And in thy name has we cast out devils. And in thy name have we done wonderful, wonderful works. Yes, and then will I profess to them. Amen. I knew, knew you. Mm. Depart from me. The work all be naked. Jesus. Jesus. We may deceive man, Jesus. but we cannot deceive God. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Man may think you are a spiritual giant, Jesus. but God knows the truth. Amen. Yes, Lord. Have you ever thought how foolish it seems Lord. that you can lie to God? See, I believe that the safest person Jesus. is when you can live saved at home. Amen. When you can live right at home, Jesus. it's easy to live right in the church. Because at home, you're your real self. You're not surrounded by other saints that you have to act.
Yes, yes, he said. The woman you gave to me, Lord, to be my wife. Yes, she enticed me. And I did eat. Mm. Jesus. See, it seems that man always blaming God for his failures. Jesus. Jesus. See, the things don't work out like we think God should work them out. Amen. Then what we do, we begin to blame God. Amen. True. Uh -huh. I am worshiping me. Uh -huh. 
I'll give you anything you want. Huh? But God said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Hmm? Told him not. I know you're hungry because you've been fasting. <laughs> God told him, Man shall not live by bread alone. But every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. But in my conclusion, the part that really stuck out to me was when God spoke in Isaiah 61 and 1. And it says, The Spirit of the Lord hmm, came upon me. Now, because the, this is what God was saying, and He began to read this scripture in the temple. Because the Lord has anointed me to do what? To preach good times. Yes, Lord. Mm. In other words, good news. Unto yes, the meek, unto the poor. He has sent me to bind up the broken hardness, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and to open up the prison to them that are bound. The Lord said to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of the vengeance of our God to comfort all that moment. See, God read this. He turned to this scripture after coming out of the wilderness and read it to the people in the temple. And after he read it, he began to teach with so much power and so much authority till they were amazed. My Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. See, and, 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 and many of the prophets and the judge and the rulers had been anointed by God and filled with the Spirit of God to do his work. See, it takes the Spirit of God. See, by the spirit of the Lord, not man wisdom, not man strength, not man influence of those called by God is able to effectively minister and do what God has called you to do. See, that's why so many people get weary in the way of doing because they are not empowered with the Holy Ghost. But when the spirit of the Lord come upon you, he's strengthening you to deal with people. Easy. 
could never find nobody to roll out of here. Then the Spirit of the Lord came unto me and he told me to say, this is what the Lord said. That is what you are saying, you leaders of Israel, but I know what is going through your mind. See, we say one thing with our lips, but God knows what's going through in our minds. When God gives you everything you are praying for, what is your next agenda? What will you do? When God opened every door for you that you're praying for God to open, what is your next agenda? Because what so many times after we receive the blessings of God, we refuse to be a blessing.